Hello and welcome back to Noah's Window. As we start a new week, we're going to go to the book of Psalms. And Psalm 69 is the Psalm of David. Mm -hmm. And as we were reading it, there was one word that kept getting repeated over and over that really jumped out at me. So I want to share that with you guys this morning. Uh, again, Psalm 69, I hope you'll grab your Bible and read the whole chapter. We're just going to cherry pick a few verses. But at the beginning of the Psalm, David says, Save me, O God, for the floodwaters are up to my neck. Deeper and deeper I sink into the mire. I can't find a foothold. I'm in deep water and the floods overwhelm me. I'm exhausted from crying for help. My throat is parched. My eyes are swollen with weeping, waiting for my God to help me. And then if we jump down to verse 14, he says, Rescue me from the mud. Don't let me seek any deeper. Save me from those who hate me and pull me from these deep waters. Don't let the floods overwhelm me or the deep waters swallow me or the pit of death devour me. Answer my prayers, O Lord, for your unfailing love is wonderful. Take care of me, for your mercy is so plentiful. Don't hide from your servant. Answer me quickly, for I'm in deep trouble. So I don't know if you noticed, but the word deep and deeper are repeated over and over. And the word picture he gives us about being in deep water, I'm, I'm not a swimmer, so that idea of being in deep water not being able to get a foothold would be a scary place to me. You and I have been thinking about these words for mm -hmm. quite a few days now, and a lot of it comes from just new springers and family members that we love very much going that are going through, so through much, deep, yes. deep troubles. Some of them have health troubles that they've fought and, you know, we've all prayed and they don't seem to be getting better. And some of the other situations are just, you know, emotional or family scenarios. Deep water really has spoken to you and me yes. these last few days. Well, you know, uh, last night, I was at a worship rehearsal and mm -hmm. I was talking to Austin and Dan Kubish um, and Dan Binner and we were we were discussing this particular psalm and I, I I think it may have been Dan Binner who said, you know the thing about deep waters, you don't know how deep it is. That's right. And that's I thought right. that's really true because not only do we have the trouble, but we have the fear of not knowing what the future mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. not knowing just how much trouble that we're in. What do you think about when you hear that? It's just almost a place of despair really because and, and as David said, you know, I, I, my eyes are swollen from crying. My throat is parched from, from crying out to you and um, feeling like at the, I'm at the end. Of course, we know that God did rescue David. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Well, and we know that ultimately he will rescue us all. Now, yes. the rescue may not look like we want right. it to look, and it may. I mean, it right. may look better than we want it to look. I, we've seen all three of those scenarios, but ultimately... We do know that eternally God will rescue us from all yes. troubles. But it is a blessing to know that we can call out to God when we get into deep water. Right. And we've all been there. I mean, I've been there many times in yes. many different ways, many different life situations. But I can testify that God always got me out. And, and I do think sometimes, and I want to be cautious about this because I don't want anyone to think that God just deliberately throws us into trouble. Trouble's part of our broken world. But I do think God allows us sometimes to experience deep water so that we will know that he is our only resource. And sometimes, and this would be the case sometimes with David too, sometimes we're in a, in a, a big mess of our own making. And yet he mentions God's mercy. Even, even then, if we're humble before God and his mercy, he rescues us. Well, you know, with some of the Psalms, we kind of have an idea of the backstory. Mm -hmm. And most of those, we don't know for sure, but we can pretty well surmise. I think you're right. I do think whatever David's dealing with here, he's contributed to. Um, obviously, he's got enemies that are trying to make more trouble than than right. should have been. But he said, oh God, this is in verse 5, you know how foolish I am. My sins cannot be hidden from you. Don't let those who trust in you be ashamed because of me. Mm -hmm. You know, So I'm not really sure what David was going through here, but the thing that does stand out to us is this idea of deep, water because yes. David says over and over that's where he is and to me the definition of deep water and actually David David himself says this early in the chapter but deep water means I can't touch the bottom right right so I think we've all felt that from one time or another and so what's really comforting to me even reading David's psalm here is the one that we do cry out to who's not overwhelmed by the deep water is the is the Father, is God. And yeah, let me there's... throw one more thing in too. I think it's important to take this deep water passage and to put it with the passages that tells us that He holds us. He holds mm. our hand. Mm -hmm. um, you and I both, as kids uh, growing up in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, our parents took us to Galveston 
for vacation. And I never mm -hmm. will forget the first time that uh, my parents took me to, to the bay. And I you know how it is, the, the way Galveston Bay is, you walk forever and you still have, you still have the, the sand underneath you. But I remember going out there with my dad and, and that was the first time I could remember uh, being out there that my feet wouldn't touch the bottom mm -hmm. and I was really scared and I wanted to go back and and dad said just hold on to my hand mm -hmm. and I said but I can't touch the bottom he said just son just trust me just hold my hand mm -hmm. and w w the further we went out the more the buoyancy affected me and the waves would come and pick me up and it turned out I, I remember thinking that's one of the greatest really rides <laughs> that's one of the greatest rides of my life because <laughs> My feet wouldn't touch the bottom, but my dad was holding my hand. And, I, and I, I really do believe that's the case here. I mean, being in deep water means we don't know how this is going to come out. Mm -hmm. But the one thing we do know is we know he's holding our hand. And when he, he rescues us, our faith grows stronger and stronger. Yeah. And I think we're at the stage of life where we can look back and say, how many times did we feel like there was no answer? Yeah. Or, you know, it was, it was just so deep or so hard. And yet God every time had an answer for well, us. Well, you know, the weekend before last, I was talking about the woman who touched Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, you're, you never are ashamed to tell about how deep a hole you were in before the Lord gets you out. And I think that's one of the things about being in deep water. We're always glad to tell people that the Lord brought us out. Mm -hmm. Which makes me think of what I think we're going to talk about tomorrow. So yeah. we have something to look forward to. <laughs> so on, on that note, and, and whatever is going on in your life, if you are in a, in a, a difficult place and maybe you feel overwhelmed and in a deep place, a deep water place, just know that we can still cry out to the Father. He does hear us and His mercies are unfailing and, and He's there for us when we're in trouble. So I hope that will encourage you. And you know, the, the deep water sometimes can make us forget that He's holding on to us. Yes. So don't forget that He's holding our hand. Right. Even if we're still feeling those waves, He's yeah. holding us. That's right. Well, on that thought, Mark, would you lead us in the word of prayer? Lord, we are burdened today because so many of your children are going through the deep waters that David talked about. And Father, we know that you hear our prayers, but at the same time, the waiting can be difficult. And so, Lord, we, we ask that you would move and work, especially for those who feel like their feet won't touch the bottom today. If nothing else, I pray they'll just know and have the sense of your holding their hand in this time. And Father, I pray that according to your will and in your timing, that you would bring them to solid footing. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining us today on Noah's Window, and we'll look forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. That's right. We'll see you Tuesday. God bless.